monkey. I would be imagine walking around with her face. I would be I would call animal control if I saw her in public. And I'm just come here, girl. Oh, I got a call for for a wild animal. Yes, she's right here. I've been trying to catch her, but I have a bad back. Sir, is that a dog? Yes, I believe so. Now, she's getting away, so you better go. There you go. Yes, I can fit in the stand-up shower. And I actually had a bath, so I can fit in the bathtub. So all the people who are fat shaming when they really have no place to, you can stuff it. <laughs> One stream with your big jugs out. The hypocrisy. Yo, yo, Beezers, I miss you all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Why don't you go the fuck away and shut the fuck up? Yo, my toilet boy cleaner over here. <laughs> Your toilet bowl cleaner? <laughs> yeah. Because there was a... He cleaned the toilet very well. Yeah, there's a video of him cleaning the uh, doo-doo's toilet with his bare hands. I don't know what I was scratching with this last leaf. I'm so... Honestly... Truly really sorry if this disgusts you. Like who does that? Ew. Like gross. The hypocrisy. Actually, if he didn't clean the toilet of Dudu bathroom, he will be kicked in the street. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Dudu. Without Dudu, he will be in the streets. Yeah. Just like a stray dog. <laughs> and no offense for the animal because the animal is better than him for like four million times. Yeah. Why she give nine thousand for Salah? You have to ask her. You go for her and tell her why you pay 9,000 for Salah. And you don't know? I want to ask, who asking this question? He don't know why she give 9,000? Eh. That's the, this question very strong. All they know, she give him money to continue with her. Head who leeches off of a woman, you suck the life out of people, that's all you do. And you're disgusting. A parasite. Method. <laughs> you know, not a nice guy. He is a what? He is an asshole. He bites his nails. Ew, yeah, his nails were all gross. Yeah. The hypocrisy. Yeah, whenever, whenever your grandma died, um, you were on drugs and this and that, and you treated her horribly. Number one, I never, ever treated my grandmother horribly, ever. I gave her a picture. I took a picture of her when I was with her at the hospital. And I went like pretty much almost every day to see her with my family, so. Maybe from the edibles from yesterday. <laughs> I, still have, I still have the munchies from that. I can't FaceTime because she doesn't use a cell phone. <laughs> she doesn't know how and stuff. Uh, I think it's because people are so eager to paint me as a bad person. What a horrible granddaughter. She's just blowing off her grandma to go eat nashies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's the epitome of Astrid cigarettes. Ew. The hypocrisy. You bear my witness. I eat people. You bear my witness. Yeah. I eat people. No. Ugh. Basically, uh... Natural is uh, it's called a uh, keyboard warrior behind the monitor only. Shut the fuck up. You probably live in a stu stuffy crap hole. Like. Uh, why is she hiding her face in every live stream? She did. Coward. <laughs> no, seriously. People, it's true. People who just sit there and judge other people. Like, mm. if you want to be pathetic and follow someone like that, that's your karma. Like for BBJ, since you, you got all that money from everybody, you scammer. So, the postcard tier was a scam? Yeah, but I don't have the postcard tier anymore. I, c I canceled it for that reason. She, she like, her, pers her, con her condo has as much personality as the two of them combined. <laughs> You ready? I can't fucking do it. Oh! oh.
The hypocrisy. Yeah. Ew. I don't know. I honestly, I'm blind. I must have been blind. Sissy boy, you've been a dancer. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Grow up. The biggest boringest woman I ever seen in my life. Like honestly. The hypocrisy. Excuse me, we've seen your bedroom like full of pet hair. I can just imagine. In, like your boyfriend has like your man has no personality whatsoever your husband she's weird though i'm fake as hell she's also nasty so she is an asshole it's like we know where you live okay that's not creepy or anything like where is it okay to dox people like to, to show where they live online you don't think that's like a bit dangerous but anyway oh, really? they are welcome if you guys want to help me in the case at all um, if you know her address and her full like legal information, I'm, it's not a dox. It would be I need to have that information. If not, I'll find it. She lives in Montreal, so you're a hypocrite. Um, I know people think it's not possible, but it is. Just like it was possible for us to get married on a visitor visa, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> you know, so sometimes Google doesn't have all the answers. I can smell this one all the way up here. Adulting, like, and living life and being together. But when he has downtime, the fact that he likes to game um you know instead of going to, to club well, there's no clubs here but instead of like going out all the time and like me wondering where he is and stuff like that like he's just a really loyal honest person and you know his his gaming is just really like a good pastime because it you know he's still here with me while he's doing it and yeah so you know and i know people were trying to warn him like they're saying things like Chantal will warning him like Chantal will turn against you and talk about you if you break up and blah blah blah. No, because I have nothing negative to say about Salah. Look at her just feeling like I said some mean things about him. I was like, like and in response to that he said he doesn't love anymore after what I said. Very impulsive. I called him a coward. And then he's also what? A zero. Pretty much, I would say the majority, more than the majority of things people come up with online, you guys know. It's all BS, honestly. Bullshit. <laughs> the hypocrisy. They can go shove a big giant cactus while they're at it.